Hello and how's it going you awesome possums? Look, I know some of you guys are the divine and the godly skilled best of the best of the best in planet side too. With honor. But some of us earthly heathens have the skills of an undercooked broccoli. Skills aside, I know at some point silly or small head scratching mistakes will be made. Like this one right here. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Oh yeah, pro level stuff right there. I mean this happens to the best of us. Frag grenades, stun grenades, heal grenades, all the grenades actually. But these bouncing flash grenades, they hit differently. You see, when you fail miserably in tossing a frag grenade, you and the boys will lose a few fingers or an arm. It's no big deal. It's just another Tuesday. But flash grenades make you feel so helpless for a few seconds at least. And you also probably burn the retina of that one poor guy playing at night on his $4,000 gaming monitor with built-in prostate massager. I don't know. I really hope that does not exist. Okay, how about the message courier daily mission? You hop on a harasser, you deliver your messages. Really simple. Of course, sometimes other things require your full attention. You say you'll be back real quick, but then you just kind of forget. Now you're back at the warp gate doing the damn thing all over again. But I get it, we're humans, we need our bathroom break, our snack break, our other breaks that I can't really mention, and in my case, I made my favorite bowl of instant noodles. Oh, I feel great! Fully energized and Wait ready to so win. Here. What the fuck? Next one is key binding, specifically for the engineer class ability, you know, giving ammunition to the enemy, and the extremely rapid escape cockpit transition, also known as ejecting by accident, that's right. Now I've already covered these two in my other videos, but what can I say, it's a really common slip up. Well of course changing the key binding already crossed our mind, because fool me once, shame on you. You fool me, we can't get fooled again. But then you kind of think you rarely fly ESFs anyway, so you just forget about it. But you know what, this changes today. Alright, let's see, key binding, vehicle, exit vehicle, da Oh hey man, yeah sure I'll be down in a sec, just need to shut down my PC real quick. C4s are great, they're not just for dealing with enemy vehicles, they're excellent tools to clear out rooms as well. You know, like doing a bit of crowd control, so I'm looking at you C4 fairies. Yeah, I see you. But in some occasions, in an attempt to be somewhat sneaky, you toss your C4 just a bit too early or late and it ends up on the wall in front of your face. But the best part here is, blowing it up anyway with complete disregard for life, may it be friend or foe, mostly friend. I have a love-hate relationship with the Gaining Ground daily mission. Not because of the difficulty, it's fairly easy, but rather, and just like the Message Korea daily mission, sometimes you forget to accept it, or sometimes you thought you did. So you end up standing there with other guys like it's 2016 all over again, when everyone's doing the mannequin challenge. That girl is a real crowd. In continents such as Esamir and Hosin, there's a ton of walled bases with sort of secret or hidden entrances. Or oh, actually, they're just normal entrances in plain sight. But when a Sundi is deployed next to that entrance, like literally next to the entrance, for some reason, your stupid brain tells you, hey, you know what would be funny if you go the other way and run around the entire base, which is exactly what you do. And the next thing you know, with all that running, it's like you play Death Stranding in Planet Side 2. This next one is a real classic, a real facepalm inducing incident, if you will, getting ran over by friendly vehicles. Yes, I talked about this before, but this one's on the silly mistake end of the spectrum. You see, when we get turned into a space homo sapien pancake, more often times than not, it's our fault. Whether you're standing directly behind a tank or you're not paying attention to where you're going. But regardless of the reason, it will always leave you baffled for one or two seconds. Some gamers may rage and swear at their screen, while some calmer ones will let out a sigh wondering what they did in their previous life to deserve such humiliation. But seriously, this sucks, especially if you're on a roll, with the blood of John McClane running through your veins, craving for action, and then BAM! Space Pancake. In video games, there's a ton of common knowledge or don'ts. For example, don't stand next to the red barrels, do not stand on the fire, do not test if there's an invisible wall, and in the chaos of Planet Side 2, 
There's the do not stand in the line of fire. Now, you and I both know that this is something that means absolutely nothing to Planet Side 2 players. Okay, I won't point any fingers at any faction here because I know some people can get pretty sensitive over this. Okay, kidding aside, amidst the bullets and explosions in this game, friendly fire is inevitable. Although, if I walk into someone else's line of fire and get killed, it's, eh, I don't mind, I shrug it off. But if someone else walks into mine, I feel a small sense of guilt. Like, maybe 30% guilt and 70% I could have made that shot if it wasn't for your existence. At this point, I think everyone knows about the no-fall damage thing. But, you know, to quickly recap, after using a jump pad or a lift, you're immune to fall damage at least for a few seconds. This mechanic itself could sometimes be the reason behind another silly mistake. Sometimes you might be tempted to sneak in a couple of shots while you're immune to fall damage and score an easy kill. But then... Okay, pop quiz, hotshot. The base is overrun, you're pinned down in the spawn room, you have less than one minute before the base is fully captured, but your salt level is still above normal and you still thirst for blood. What do you do? Go. Yell in chat. Oh. Troll on Twitter. Oh. Complain on Reddit. Ah. That's right, use a Cortium Bomb. I'm sorry, it's Copium Bomb. This is the last hurrah when you're about to lose the base. I mean, it's cheap and with a bit of luck, it can get you a couple of decent kills. So it's a good idea, right? Well, it is. That's why everyone does it. The thing about this method is you have to time your Copium Bomb perfectly. Too soon, your bomb goes off and the only thing you'll kill are the terminals. Too late and it'll be disarmed with ease. But even if you can time it perfectly, other players are planning the same thing. So it sucks when you're timing your bomb drop and suddenly there's no room for your Copium Bomb. There is no doubt that in Planet Side 2, strength in numbers prevail. Super quick and necessary history lesson. In the Battle of Thermopylae, 300 Spartans fought alongside thousands of Greeks to fend off hundreds of thousands of Persian invaders. The Greeks had valor but the Persians had numbers and grumpy looking cats. Okay, why am I telling you this? Well, for one, I like history. Two, sometimes you peel off from a good chunk of our teammates and wander off to a room full of enemies, then slaughtering you in a blink of an eye. Now you ask yourself, what the hell were you thinking? So despite your god level gaming powers, it would be near impossible to take on 10 or 20 guys in a straight up gunfight. But I get it, I know, you need the action. Sometimes you got to find the fight yourself, although do not be surprised if the fight finds you first. Okay, this last one, I've got to be honest, I do not think a lot of people make this mistake. It's friendly fire and making it seem like you're shooting someone else, like someone behind. I know, I know, this is one of those telltale signs of being an absolute noob. It's a split second panic reaction when someone runs up to your face. And it's a bit embarrassing, not gonna lie, especially if that guy you shot is facing you. So the best way to play this off is to make it look like he was in your line of fire. So who else does this? Come on guys, I refuse to believe I'm the only one. So which one of these silly mistakes you make often? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Stay awesome, possum.